taking to the skies, a Gallatin High School student is making history as the first student in the school's aviation program to earn her wings as a private pilot. This is Caitlin Quisenberry shares why for this student, the sky is the limit. Addison DeWitt is taking flight. As the first student at Liberty Creek High School to earn her private pilot's license through the school's new aviation program. I had room for an elective, so I just kind of dropped one down and ended up loving it. Being up there and being able to see the sky in front of you, being able to control which direction it moves, it was incredible the first time I went up and I just fell in love with that feeling. Now a senior at LCHS, Addison started her flight training as a junior. For the last two years, the Liberty Creek Aviation Program has taught students about aviation and aerospace. Students learn how to fly a plane through flight simulators, giving students like Addison a chance to earn her wings. I'm like, so what you did is she goes, I woke up at 430 and went out to the airfield so I can get an hour of, of flight time in. Addison started her training by taking Intro to Aerospace and Aviation One at LCHS before starting her training at Jet Access, where she had flight classes three times a week. With 70 hours of flight time, she passed her private pilot test in February. Now she is looking forward to sharing her love of flying with her family and friends. I'm going to fly my best friend out to Tullahoma and we're going to go skydiving. <laughs> But the sky is not the limit for Addison. She tells me she is already committed to Purdue University in the fall in pursuit of a degree in professional flight to teach the future generation of pilots and to become a commercial pilot. Just being able to move through this and see that it is possible, something that I've dreamed of doing since I was little, even though I didn't know I could, has just been surreal and amazing. City traffic, RC 241, Juliet, turning left down, 170. Gallatin, Caitlin Quisenberry, News 2.